Welcome back to the Sean Trey Show. I've got an awesome guest and an old friend here tonight. Now, would you like to tell people who you are and what you do? Uh, I'm Chris Cyborg, MMA fighter. Uh, people call me the Grand Slam champion because I, I have the belts for the four different organizations in MMA. And the one, I, I love fighting, but the one thing I like to, I love to do is bring the light for the people around me. This yeah. is the first thing is the real belt. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this one writer. His name is Ryan Holiday. And he has this book called The Obstacle is the Way. Uh, and it talks about how people throughout history, like when you have challenges... Because you, you said, like, you weren't just good at martial arts. It's something you had to work at. You know, yeah. I played volleyball in university, and I, I played at a high-level team. But I didn't get there because I was good at it. I got there because every single day I was in the gym. Yeah. And then, you know, after I finished playing volleyball, I got into judo. And I did Japanese-style uh, jiu-jitsu which, and judo. And so I trained judo, you know, five, six days a week. And I was never great at it, but I got better because of yeah. just working at it, you know? And it's, it, it's so many times, the good things in our lives, there's often an obstacle or a challenge that stops us. And then we have to go, all right, well, how am I going to make change in my life to get around this? And, and, you know, if you don't, you can never fully be who you are. You yeah. can never get to your, to your highest level. And so for me, I love, I love obstacles. I mean, <laughs> within reason, <laughs> you know, yes. I, because they force me to really dig deep and to kind of get better, you know, make you, make so, you stronger too. Make you strong, yes. like it, make you strong and make it sometimes. Okay. I'm going to, let's think about this. You're going to have a big bottom. Okay. And then you yeah. get ready for the little bottle. When comes the big bottle, you're ready. You're ready. Person. You're so strong. You're training so much. You're ready. Yeah. So uh, I feel the same thing. Like when in the, in the, when you work hard, when you take a long time, a little bit, like when you got it, it's something you work hard. It's so much fun. It's so much joy in yeah. your heart. Like you, how much you work hard for this. So it's, 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 it's not going to, I always tell my daughter, one thing I, I talk, talk to Gabby, another thing I teach her because when she's, she's my, my niece, but she lives with me. So yeah. I, she, before she came living with me, she never run before, never run. She no yeah. running, not. And I start teaching her running and because run is fun. It's free. Yeah. You right. put the music free. You yeah. don't play nobody. It's going to be good, good for a healthy and. Listen to music, you run. If you're sad, you go run, clean your mind. If you're happy, you run, sing, jump, whatever, do whatever you have to do. So, yeah. and I will say, I'm going to teach her to run. And I start to run for her, and she's complaining the whole time. I don't like run, I run, run, run. It's so difficult, Chris. I say, Gabby, run is like life. It's going to, okay, you get out of your house, go to another place, example, in the end. For me, running from there is going to be hard. Sometimes I want to quit, sometimes I want to yeah. walk. Sometimes yep. you're going to yell at somebody, it's their fault, it's not my fault. Somebody, you know, but you, the most important, you go to the end. Like the yep. time you get hard, you don't quit. You keep going. You can run a little bit less, slow, okay. I tell like, her, if you want to walk a little bit and run, walk a little, okay. But just the, what's the final destination? We're going to do this. Is it like life? Like life is going to be hard moments, but you have to continue, keep going. What are going to do? You're going to say stop? Let the people feel sorry for you. No, you have to be. I know it's hard sometimes because this is important to people around you too. You know, if some people you said, some people just say, oh, yeah, I stay there. Because some people children are going to bring you the light. So some people yeah. you have to clean up around you. Okay. And you get people going to bring the light for you. And when you feel down, somebody go pick you up and put up. Or, the, yeah. you know, back and forth. They have to be like yeah. this. It's not every day you feel great. No, but they yeah. have somebody, one partner, good for put you up. Well, man, yep. yeah, sure. It's so true. And, and like, you know, when I, I, I used to run in college and, and, you know, we lived, it, you know, I was up in the mountains at this university. Nice. My university was beautiful. It was just beautiful out in the mountains. And it was, we had great cross country. And I remember I would be, you know, two miles in on a five mile run. And you, you're not halfway, so you don't have that, you know, already over the hump. You know, you're, you're still, you're still kind of climbing the hill, you know. 
And there are those moments where you want to quit. Yeah. You know, and you feel it. You're like, I should just turn around, get back in my bed where it's warm, and go back to sleep. You know, because it's it's early. You know, you wake up early to go for a nice run. And that those are the moments where you just have to, you know, dig deep. Yeah. You step back and go, no, not today. Today, no, I'm pushing through. And then when you get just beyond that, because those are the moments that are the hardest. Once you get beyond that, yeah. suddenly it gets easy. Yes. And it's just, it gets fun. And then you hit another wall yeah. and you want to quit again. And you push through. Yeah, this is, I teach my daughter because a lot of, you have to help teach them challenge and keep going. You know, yeah. like you're gonna get hard, don't quit. Like you have to, but this is you have to people, nice people around you. I have a lot of moments in my career, like sad, I cry, but I have good people around me. A lot of times I go training, I was yeah. crying, sad for something, no one to go, but my friend, no, Chris, you need to go, let's go, you need to be ready. Let's, like I have a lot of moments, okay, people see a lot of things great, but they have the other side too. So when people ask me about oh, what's the belt most important for you, like, yeah, it's, it's so many cheers. So many challenge, so much wall we have to break. Like it's 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 uh, it's a lot. So and I this is I like to share the experience. You know I have. I think when you share it, like people look at me sometimes yep. because when I start fighting MMA, America, like people. Do, when I met you first time, I think I speak very little in English. But I think you know, like we communicate so well, and they stay for a long time. You know, keep keep touch yeah. even in distance. We keep yeah right. Touch. Cross yeah, the world. <laughs> it was great. So this is this is I believe like uh, when when people people when I start fighting, people don't know who I am. Real in my heart because I didn't speak yeah. English, so I just go over there fighting. And in my fight is you know very violent. I go for it and like yeah. very hard, you know. And yeah. people look at me, and then when they start, people start to listen to me. They look at me like, you really nice person. You're very nice. <laughs> right. I say, how are you guys think I am? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, they cannot figure out like how's that. He said, no, so you're very nice. Like, uh, and then it's, and then like, man, I, I, the people now, I'm so glad people know who I am. Like, even they go over there, I fight. So I don't hate my opponent. You know, I just go over there, it's a sport. I know it's a little bit, people think it's a violent sport, but it's Ash, both ready to fight. So, yeah. And that, both looking for an opportunity, you know, both bring a look. And so I I feel so amazing. Like uh, now I can talk a little bit about love each other. Even after the fight, we fight each other. I go over there, kiss my opponents, you yeah. know, say good words for them. And it's, 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 it's the best. Like uh, when you can make the difference. That moment, she's for, when you lose one fight, it's one challenge. Like when you lose something in your life, it's one challenge. And then the, the the moment you lost anything, like oh, the hard time, it's harder to see why, you know what I mean? But I always have a why, and but for your good, for you getting better or something. Uh -huh.